everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today is Saturday, not Friday, because I'm not very good at this YouTube malarkey and yeah, didn't edit it in time. So, today's video is a meals of the week. Just gonna show you five of my weekday meals and hopefully you enjoy. If you do like these kinds of videos, then hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already. And yeah, I'm gonna get in with the meals this week. Hello, you beautiful people. So, this first meal, it is pulled chicken, pulled barbecue chicken at that actually. Basically this night I did not know what to do and I had some chicken breast. I thought, you know what, I'm going to boil this up. I'm going to mix it with some, I had some quark, quark left over. You know, that like cheap, like low fat cheesy stuff. So I put some of that, some quark and uh, quite a bit of barbecue sauce. Mixed it all around with the pulled sort of poached chicken it sounds absolutely disgusting doesn't it but it, it was really really tasty put it in a brioche bun we had these left over from the burgers the other day in the last video added some sweet potato fries on mine and dan had obviously some of the bacon potato crunchy things from iceland and i had some green beans with mine dan didn't want any of course he's just allergic to vegetables apparently but this was absolutely delicious. I'm very tempted to get like a pork joint and do pork like barbecue pulled pork one day. But Dan's always told me like the last five years I've been with him that he does not like pork. So I need to I need to change his mind there, I think. Obviously, if, if you can see, <laughs> I didn't chop off the ends of my green beans. I just did that as I as I ate because i was just a bit lazy and this was actually the green beans from the little one pound fifty box so they got used didn't get wasted wasted <laughs> not like me on friday night <laughs> when it was my birthday last week oh <laughs> so yeah that is that the next meal what do we have next oh okay so again a very strange mixture dan has a beef burger from iceland bit of cheese on top and that is paired with some more yet more bacon potato crunchies from iceland but that is it that's the bag gone now he's not going to see that for a while unless you know i'm feeling feeling nice might buy him a bag i however this little pot that i just plonked down it has some homemade potato wedges that i actually didn't cook fully through which is really annoying because it would have been really really nice if i had cooked it all the way through so yeah um potato wedges and a mixture of tuna sweet corn with a bit of mayo just sort of mix all the way through a bit of cheese on top and through that in the air i should have just put it in the oven but i put it in the air fryer and the cheese didn't really go crispy i wanted it to go crispy it would have been a lot better but i'm gonna do that again one day dan also says he, he doesn't like tuna but you know what i'm gonna try him with tuna one day this next meal is actually a hello fresh meal so it is the thing that you can see in the background there um it's pretty much chicken goujons sweet potato fries and a salad it's me just chopping up the salad i couldn't be bothered to get the chopping board out i mean who wants extra washing up when all you chop in is a tomato i mean i mean i chopped the um the chicken earlier but that's all been washed up so i'm gonna put the salad down a few tomatoes move the salad over the tomato juice so no one sees it <laughs> popping down the chicken goujons which was really easy to do they actually use mayonnaise rather than like an egg wash and then the panko breadcrumbs air fried and it turned out beautifully so i'm definitely going to do them again and there was these like this sauce right only thing I would say about it is they had this sweet chilli sauce that was amazing but they only gave one tiny little sachet of it and obviously there's two of us eating. I did give it to Dan. I mean I dunked, obviously tried it but I gave it to Dan. We were both amazed by it. I wish there was more. Oops, fallen over. There was also some balsamic glaze. Now I gave most to Dan. A little bit of mine just there. Most to Dan. I did have more in the fridge, so I could have put more on mine, but I just didn't really fancy it. But overall, good meal. Although you could make it a lot cheaper if you just bought the ingredients by itself. <laughs> I cracked myself up when I'm re-watching this. Just made the little cat walk. <laughs> oh, blimey. Right, oh, there. So I'm, I'm just putting the chilli sauce in the little cat measuring jug. I love these little measuring cups. 
There we go. Doesn't look too bad, does it? Looks quite tasty. I love sweet potato fry or chips. Sweet potato chips. They're so easy to make and so healthy. So, the next one is also a HelloFresh meal. Look at it. I put D loves K on it. The green beans, which are garlicky green beans, are actually cooked in the same pan as like the inside of the pie. That's why it went a little bit dark. But basically, inside you have got, from what I remember, leeks, blue cheese, garlic, lots of garlic. I put, I put more garlic in than it said. I always do. 150 grams or mils of creme fraiche and stock with water, I believe. We've got the puff pastry on top the garlicky green beans and I, I think I died and went to heaven with this it was it was amazing I'm definitely gonna oh and potatoes potatoes what potatoes potatoes went in there yeah I'm definitely gonna make this again but when I tried to point it on Weight Watchers yeah like it's just, it was just too many points but I didn't I didn't care you know shh don't tell anyone but <laughs> you know it doesn't matter. It was tasty and I'm living for today. Even if I do have this belly, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Right, what do we have next? I'm literally voiceovering this without realising what, what meals are coming next. We've got spaghetti bolognese. Again, as always, I've got spaghetti. Daniel has got pasta. But this time I made corn bolognese and again, I know I made corn chilli in the last video. This was amazing, like unbelievably good. And I've heard so many bad things about corn mince. Like it goes like a funny consistency, it goes too mushy, it doesn't have any flavour. If you add the flavour in, it doesn't matter. I mean, we enjoy soft mint, sounds weird, soft mints. We don't enjoy like chewy, crunchy mints. <laughs> But um, yeah, chopped tomatoes, onion in there, some mixed herbs, the corn mints, which I still can't believe for three bags. It's three bags for five pounds in most places. It's amazing. So yeah, a bit of cheese on there. And bon appetit. I hate that saying. <laughs> is this it? I just want to add there is a HelloFresh unboxing at the very end of the video. So please stay tuned. But thank you very much for watching. Back to me in the studio. <laughs> there we go. That was everything. I hope you did enjoy. Like I said at the beginning, like the video if you did enjoy watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. You can also hit the notification bell and I'll pop up every time I upload a video. But that is about it. I hope you all enjoy your weekend and hopefully I'll see you again in the next video. So gonna open the HelloFresh box just to show you everything inside this is only for three meals for two people but we're just gonna see how it goes I've done HelloFresh before and it wasn't too bad oh gonna open it up so the meals that we've gone for are very much like this though went for a crispy chicken goujon and sweet potato chip meal this is family friendly little chefs <laughs> little chefs it's for Dan to make 35 to 40 minutes seems quite straightforward this one looked like my fave looked like um, this one was my, ah quacky this was my fave oven baked goat's cheese risotto that looks quite nice and then finally don't know what to think about this one blue cheese dauphinois pie so um What's that? Blue cheese, puff pastry, potatoes. And that's served with leek and garlicky green beans. So we're going to see how they go. So with HelloFresh, they actually give you like the bags already no like on here. If you haven't had them before, you won't know. So I'm just going to go through it. You've got 24 and 10. And then all the bags of dried ingredients are labelled so that's recipe 10 we've got recipe 4 and we have recipe 20 oh that is heavy what was recipe 20 oh the blue cheese oh that'll be the puff pastry right and then oh they've given us two of those what's this welcome to hello perks Oh, I don't know what this is. This is going to be some leaflets. Thought there'd be some vouchers. Oh yeah, get a free pet treat. 
Oh, okay. And this is a cold bit inside a cold bag. There's some ice. Ice, ice baby. Still quite cold actually. Oh no, I just put my hand on some ice. There's some chicken breast fillet. Some Italian hard style cheese. Oh, that's a puff pastry. Oh, God. Christ knows what that hard thing was in that bag. We've got some mushrooms. Some creme fraiche in a lovely little pouch. Grated hard style Italian cheese. More of it. This looks like butter. Yeah, unsalted butter. A garlic. You get a whole head bulb in there rather than just the thingies. Blue cheese and some rind of goat's cheese in there. Yeah, so that is everything. Shall I quickly show you what's in, in these bags? So let's go through number 10. So this is for the crispy chicken goujon and sweet potatoes. Oh, so that'll be the sweet potatoes probably, yeah. So you get, oh. Now this is confusing because salad goes in the fridge. Do they just expect you to put it all in the fridge? Maybe. That, you've got some sweet potatoes. Mayonnaise, tomato. Barbecue sauce. You know what, you are meant to just put these in the fridge. Breadcrumbs, see they wouldn't go in the fridge so. It's just going to fill my fridge up, isn't it? Oh well, that's what we're going to do there. Put that all back in that bag. Number four, this I reckon is the risotto bag. Yeah, nice big leak. Risotto rice. Wild rocket. See, like there's a lot of packaging again and I'm not I'm not a big fan of a lot of packaging so I think this might be my, my last box that I'm gonna try this is the pie the pie oh look another ginormous leak look at the size of that green beans some little potatoes but then again oh these could just be loose i don't know but that is that but hopefully we'll get some yummy meals out of those 